Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share my recent purchases from Paris. If I'm loving or if I am having second thought, I haven't had them that long so I cannot say I regret but just wish I didn't purchase or I didn't have to get them type thing, you know? Most of them that I purchased were on my wish list, so I have thought of getting them for quite a long time, but some were, yes, like the moment I fell in love type of ones. And by the time you're watching this video, I may have given birth already. I'm still currently pregnant, so pre-filming this video i just wanted to tell you guys and i bought so many i don't think i can cover everything in one video it will be very very long so i'll separate two videos so first one will be chanel and hermes only and the second one will be louis vuitton dior and gucci so let's begin with the small list that i purchased from chanel uh these two i would say i wore this one the mini size pearl oh, so beautiful this one more than this as this wallet on the chain from chanel does not fit that much amount when i'm using this handbag i have to either take the credit cards out of my wallet and put all of them on the back slots right here car slots it is wallet like wallet on the chain so i should do that but i don't have much patience when i am about to you know run out the door i just have to take care of my kids and i have to change them i have to change myself so i don't know that's that's the biggest reason i did not reach for this handbag but how gorgeous is this? I absolutely love this color, iridescent pink. So, so beautiful. And also this exaggerated, like ginormous CC right there compared to the classic wall on the chain. It's big. And Mother of Pearl, of course, that's like my favorite. I love Mother of Pearl. So this combination, it's just the best. I'm so glad that I purchased this. In Paris, I was about to leave the store buying other things, but then like last minute, I was just like, I want to take a look at it. Can you take it down from the, you know, shelf? And SA took it down. As soon as I touched it and I saw it up close, I just could not resist. And some of you commented and asked, why so many youtubers are getting same bag and uh, why this particular pearl mini is so popular from chanel or something like that so normally chanel pearl bags cost so much like extra and i would say too much so every time i look at the price and see the bag i was like no i wouldn't get that it's like getting exotic Pearl handbags like from Chanel, they're classic and Coco Chanel loved pearls. And pearls are so classy and elegant and just it just reflects the beautiful woman. I don't know. I just always think pearls are so beautiful. And having pearl handbag from Chanel, it's something like special to me at least and the price of this particular chanel handbag that's got a lot of pearls i mean it's really really good i know it's expensive still but it's a lot better than the pearl handbags that i've seen before like triple or double the amount compared to this one so of course that's why i mean that's my answer to that but i don't know other people why they purchased this particular one and also i was drawn to this as it's got black and white very neutral black and white go you know with everything so that's why i've been wearing this handbag so much more than i thought and my husband thought because my husband when i was like i love this bag and he was like please don't get that you're not gonna even wear that and i was like 
why? And he's like, that's like jewelry. Why would you wear jewelry every day? Or it's not practical, he said. And this is a bag that you're gonna only wear when you go to the party or like really fancy dinner or something special. Only like once a year type thing. And I was like, hmm, that may be true. I didn't go for it the first day when I saw it. But second day I went back and I purchased it. And my husband said, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. And then now I tell him, do you see that I'm wearing this handbag again and again? <laughs> One thing to point out is that this handbag is not all leather. That's why the price was good, uh, better, but it's got leather inside on top, a flap area, and also only this area. So other than that, it's more of a fabric. So it's more flexible. The difference between the classic mini flap would be the chain being thinner. That's what uh, Chanel normally make when they're making more limited edition or something different than the classic. They make the chain thinner, I find. Um, does it bother? Thought it would, but it doesn't. I shortened the handbag by knotting on top. And some of you asked me to do or recommended me to pull this chain inside and ribbon it with Chanel ribbon or anything. I used to do it with my minis a long time ago, like years ago, and also all on the chain. But I don't know, I find that the ribbon untie by itself sometimes and i did get annoyed by just having that so now i just do not right here which the sa in paris told me and i knew it but i've never done that but anyways i did it and now i like doing that it looks kind of cute and the length is perfect for me oh, right every now. time i wear this i get so many compliments like everyone like doesn't matter it's Chanel. I mean, I don't think they, everyone knew it was Chanel handbag, but they just love it. It's pearl. And I've heard that it does get scratched up this area as you're like rubbing a lot from wearing. But you know what? I really don't see any scratches, but only the area that I see is just the shape of the pearl, how they made it. Um, it's not totally smooth. That's the only thing I see, but I don't really see any, even one scratch. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> but it just still looks perfect. And next is my Chanel reissue. And this is so black. So it's got no silver, no gold, but black and chevron shape i love and it's not the biggest size but one size smaller than the biggest that they make i need to be i mean i i'm gonna be honest with you i haven't worn this bag that much i think only once and every time i thought of wearing and wanted to try out or test out or I was thinking I need to wear that more, but I don't reach for it. I don't really understand because it doesn't even have like a matchy matchy like gold and silver. I tend to match my jewelries, but I mean, I mix also, but if I'm wearing a lot of gold, I don't know. I just like to go with the gold hardware handbag more than silver, something like that. Um, but so I don't really know why I don't go with it. Only thing that I can say is, is it too chic for my liking? Or it's very comfortable handbag to wear and it fits more than of course the mini and the wallet on the chain that I've been showing you guys. And it's beautiful, beautiful, wonderful handbag. This is like something that I cannot really tell you if I regret or I just wish I didn't buy. No, not like that. I still love it. And I think I made a good choice, you know, going with reissue. It's just so classy from Chanel. Um, I love Chevron as well and so black. It's special. And I think it could be because it's been so hot here, black. 
that could be it when the fall and winter come yeah that's when we can find out right but i love the look still and so black it's so chic and i do not regret from getting it but i haven't really reached for it for sure okay before i move on to another chanel handbag let me tell you how much i've been loving these these are not too tall not flat but just right amount height so i've been wearing even though i'm still pregnant and i just love that pearl on the back that matches that chanel pearl bag um i didn't wear both like together all the time but i just love that little accent it's just interesting and different and it's got cc right here i don't think you can see it but it's beautiful and it's got silver hardware and it's just really minimal and not much to it in the front you can even tell when you have your feet on it doesn't say chanel or it doesn't have any cc on the front so i like that it's understated so nobody really knows until you see it turn around and you have to get close to it and it says cc and very classy goes with everything very simple and the shape is very flattering as well on your feet so loving very comfortable oh. yes this is the last chanel that i purchased in paris trendy cc i love this color pink and i thought i'll be really afraid to use this handbag just because it's lambskin but i was not that afraid and i was just set to just go for it and really use it inside you guys all know what it looks like i bet or if you want me to make separate like review videos please let me know because i've been really enjoying using this bag it's kind of like similar to pushing matisse it's got three compartments pretty big and it fits quite a lot and it looks very very classy and i can see uh, chanel adding this trendy cc as their classic line and i love this giant cc as well and turn log of course and on the top there is chanel and i didn't take the plastic off yet i think i should do that right now with you guys Ooh, how satisfying is that look at the how shiny that became and looks very very luxurious i am so happy that i got it and i'm gonna really adore this handbag for years and years to come this handbag has all leather like lining and outside everything and also it's got the chunky uh hardware on top with chanel and the front and it's got long strap right here so some of you asked me if this is heavy but i don't know why or because i will always complain if something is heavy you guys all know that but this handbag doesn't seem heavy to me really and it could be because you're holding it this way a lot i've been doing that a lot because it looks so cute holding it this way or holding it on the crook of your arm like so i don't know i find it not as heavy Okay, it's been getting dark and I think it's about to rain. So let me go quick. Now, let's go with Hermes and this cutie, cutie pie, Kelly Pochette. It is the cutest thing ever. And the color is just so, so beautiful. And it's just so summery and springy. So it's perfect to wear right now, but I wore it i think once going out with my husband uh movie night it was beautiful to carry it and it's so small and really delicate looking and it feels so so luxurious and very nice but um because it doesn't have the shoulder strap i don't really find it practical or i wear it a lot even though i purchased this long silk Really, I'll say but it's extra long which um, 
the essay show me how to wrap around and use it as the shoulder strap but I don't know I don't really think it looks that amazing or great when you have it on it's kind of short on this area so I mean I could definitely do it but I prefer the look on the hand like this this looks so much cuter and when you have this on and it hangs like this it doesn't look as nice I don't know but when I was in the store when she was wrapping around and showing me all this I was like so cut into it and I was like that is amazing you can do that you know something like that so I went for it but I really didn't use this and this is swift leather which is so so soft it's like lambskin from Chanel uh, I worried about it but I find it pretty durable so I am yeah happy about it and I'm not that afraid to use it inside it fits quite a lot more than I thought it would and it's just so so cute it's like baby Kelly but like I said not as practical yeah if I, you have to choose one or mess bag I wouldn't go with this for sure the second Hermes bag I purchased in Paris is Picatin size medium black noir and it's got the crocodile I mean it's my first exotic handbag I mean only the handle uh, but I mean I'm not a big fan to tell you the truth but it's okay because it's matte finish I don't really love that shiny and striking look of the crocodile handbags this one is matte and it's really subtle you cannot really tell or see that much of difference compared to this um, Clemens leather so yeah I'm enjoying it and it's just a surprise because I didn't really think this style handbag like fortune cookie looking and kind of collapsing like I normally go with structure style and shape of the bag you guys know but this was like exceptional like a hobo style it slouches you know so I didn't really think I would love 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 but I love it I see myself purchasing another Picatin maybe smaller size or maybe the same size I think it fits a lot it's not too big on me but it's not too tiny either and I love it's got the silver hardware it looks very very chic and this is just so cute and I love it just you know grab it on top and just on crook of my arm and just do -do 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 go somewhere and it looks really cool with any outfit I find and very casual I love and this black horsey looks really cute on it so surprise surprise I love slouch bag guys I think this video I'm saying none hating actually I have one that I'm not really into I'll tell you guys in a minute but this handbag it's like a dream and it's another surprise did not expect me loving navy blue at all seriously yeah I've been really into blue lately because of this handbag and navy blue have been a color other than white that I want to put into our new house that's how much I love navy blue after getting this one it's just so so sophisticated and very I wouldn't say dressy color but like casual at the same time very classy and I just been really into you can tell right I've been wearing this handbag a whole lot more than even my gold Birkin I have and this navy blue goes absolutely with everything like I was like every time I'm like hmm, would it go well with this outfit I'm like pull it out and I'm like oh it looks cool let's go <laughs> you know something like that and I've been really loving this palladium hardware and I took the plastic off 
right here i don't know if you can see it just changed so much how shiny is that and this horsey just a pop of color yellow without it it looks a little bit more serious i would say because of that stripe going through with that burgundy color but that adding that just makes it more fun and more casual i love everything and inside looks like so beautiful beautiful handbag and my husband actually really loves this on me for some reason every time i wear it he loves it and the size 30 i love 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 and two slgs that i got from hermes and these are the only slgs small leather goods that i got from paris i must tell you this i i should i say i regret I knew it that I won't really use this so much because this is really made for coins and I don't really use coins and I knew it. But I wanted to go for it because it's so popular. I thought I can just use this as catch-all, like small tiny things that I can put, like, you know, earbuds or hairpins, like small little things. But I don't really need to have it you know what i'm saying it's like a necessary thing i don't know it's sleek and cute and i love pop of color it's the blue but i really didn't use it i tried to use it and put it in my purse i'm like adding something extra like for nothing that kind of type of feeling you know but i know a lot of people love this as it just it functions really well with the coin as it will catch if you put it that way and it goes downwards and you can put a lot of coins and it's so cute and it's not as expensive if you're talking about Hermes so I do recommend if you use coins but I really didn't have to buy it but I just wanted to have one yes that's what I would say, sadly, but I love the color for sure. This one I've been loving and I've been really enjoying because it fits all a whole lot and the cash, you don't have to fold it and it goes all the way down. And I don't really have black salad, like classic looking wallet wallet. Hey, it's know. got four credit card slots on here and two, three, three more and the four so it fits a lot and i can double it up i haven't done triple but you can for sure double it up and this leather is just so luxurious and you can feel the quality so that will be my chanel and her mess all combined what i purchased in paris the louis vuitton and dior and gucci i may have to film different day so it won't be next video i bet but let me know if you guys want me to make that video you know like this one because this is my first time sharing my recent purchases if i'm loving or regretting so please let me know in the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys